The educational materials presented here were developed by students and faculty of the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition at Iowa State University. Funding for this project was provided by grants from the American Cancer Society Midwest and the Lance Armstrong Foundation. The materials are intended for educational use and are not meant to provide medical advice. We welcome your feedback about these materials. Please use the evaluation survey link on the home page to provide your comments and suggestions. Vitamins are compounds required in very small amounts for essential body functions. One way to classify the vitamins are as water or fat soluble. The water soluble vitamins are distributed widely in the body but not stored. Therefore, they are not likely to be associated with toxic overdose. The fat soluble vitamins have a more complex distribution and can be retained, hence they can cause tissue damage if consumed in large amounts. This presentation will focus on the water soluble vitamins, which are vitamin C and the B vitamins. Water soluble vitamins include the B complex vitamins and vitamin C. The B complex vitamins are often associated with giving a person more energy. This is due to the fact that these vitamins each play different roles with energy metabolism in the body. When they are present, the body when they are present in the body, they allow energy to be used more readily by the body. Since these vitamins are water soluble, they are not stored in the body like fat soluble vitamins. They dissolve in water and are excreted from the body in urine. Therefore, it is important to consume foods rich in these vitamins each day in order to fulfill the body's needs. Vitamin B12 is found naturally in foods that are produced from animal sources, such as fish, meat, poultry, eggs, and milk. Fortified breakfast cereals are also an excellent source of this vitamin, especially for vegetarians. Cobalamin, more commonly referred to as vitamin B12, is useful for maintaining healthy nerve cells and red blood cells. It also plays an important role in the synthesis of DNA, which is the genetic material of the body. This vitamin Cobalamin, more commonly referred to as vitamin B12, is useful for maintaining healthy nerve cells and red blood cells. It also plays an important role in the synthesis of DNA, which is the genetic material of the body. This vitamin is also important because it allows the body to use folate by converting homocysteine to methionine. Folate is a very important nutrient that will be discussed in detail later. It is recommended that a person consumes 2.4 micrograms of vitamin B12 each day. If a person does not have enough vitamin B12 in their diet, they may experience symptoms such as depression, anemia, weakness or fatigue, and neurological problems that include numbness or tingling in the hands and feet. If a B12 deficiency is not corrected, the neurological damage can be permanent. No toxic or upper limit of vitamin B12 have been set and no adverse effects have been associated with the consumption of too much of this vitamin. Folate is found in dark leafy greens such as broccoli, spinach, okra, and asparagus. Liver is also a great source of this nutrient. Like many of the other water-soluble vitamins, fortified breakfast cereal is also a good source. This may be one of the most effective ways to get this nutrient. Because absorption tends to be greater in foods that are fortified, other foods that also provide folate include citrus fruits, lentils, and whole grains. Folate plays many important roles in the body. It is important in the synthesis of red blood cells, which prevents anemia from occurring in the body. Folate is also critical in the production of new cells, which makes this nutrient vital for proper growth and development. Folate consumption is extremely important in women of childbearing age. Neural tube defects such as spina bifida are a result of a deficiency of folate, which can occur in the embryo before a woman even realizes she's pregnant. Therefore, it is critical for women to increase the intake of folate before she becomes pregnant and in the first few weeks after becoming pregnant. 
400 micrograms is a recommended daily allowance of folate. However, women who are planning on becoming pregnant or women who are pregnant should consume 600 micrograms of folate each day. The upper limit is 1,000 micrograms each day. The intake of too much folate has been shown to mask the anemia associated with the deficiency caused by vitamin B12. This could be a problem because though the anemia is being corrected, the nerve problems associated with vitamin B12 are not corrected by folate. Vitamin B6 is found in a wide variety of foods. As with the other B vitamins that we have discussed, Fortified Breakfast Cereal is a great food source of this vitamin. Other sources include beans, oatmeal, meats such as pork and roast beef, and spinach. Vitamin B6 is essential in the body for maintaining good health. It is required for the nervous system and immune systems to operate properly. Also, this vitamin is needed in over 100 enzymes for protein metabolism. Vitamin B6 also plays an important role in red blood cell metabolism because it is used in the body to make hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is used by red blood cells to carry oxygen to tissues. Another function of this vitamin is the control of normal blood glucose levels by converting stored carbohydrates into glucose when caloric intake is low. The recommended daily allowance of vitamin B6 is between 1.3 and 1.7 milligrams per day. Deficiency of this vitamin causes a form of anemia called microcytic hypochromic anemia, which acts very similarly to the iron deficiency anemia. The upper limit for this vitamin is set at 100 milligrams each day. High intakes of vitamin B6 have been associated with nerve damage in the arms and the legs, but symptoms revert upon reducing the intake of this vitamin. Vitamin C is widely known for being present in citrus fruits. Vitamin C is widely known for being present in citrus fruits such as oranges and grapefruits. However, vegetables like red and green peppers, broccoli and Brussels sprouts are also excellent sources of this vitamin. Additionally, vitamin C is found in fruits such as strawberries, kiwis, guava, and watermelon. Vitamin C is important in the growth and repair of tissues in all parts of the body and is also useful in the healing of wounds. Additionally, vitamin C is necessary to form and maintain cartilage, bones, and teeth. One of the most important aspects of vitamin C is that it functions as an antioxidant in the body. This means that it is able to block damages done by free radicals, which could otherwise build up in the body and cause great damage to the body in the long term. Vitamin C has commonly been thought to prevent the contraction of a cold. However, many studies have shown that increased consumption of vitamin C does not prevent or cure the common cold. It may, on the other hand, decrease the duration of symptoms of a cold. Many people take high doses of vitamin C in the hopes of preventing or treating the common cold. Many scientific studies have been done to test the efficacy of vitamin C in cold prevention. The overall finding is that taking supplements of vitamin C does not prevent people from catching colds. Colds are caused by viruses and vitamin C has no antiviral effect. However, scientific studies have found that supplemental vitamin C during a cold may lessen the symptoms in some people because it may block histamines. Therefore, using vitamin C supplements may be beneficial during the cold, but there is no value in continual supplementation. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin C is 75 mg a day for women and 90 mg a day for men. Smokers are advised to consume an extra 35 mg each day because they encounter more oxidative stress each day due to the toxins in cigarettes. Not consuming enough vitamin C can lead to a disease called scurvy, which includes symptoms such as bleeding and bruising easily, tooth loss and hair loss, and joint pain and swelling. Excessive intakes of vitamin C, greater than 2,000 mg per day, can cause illness and damage to the liver. 
You may decide to take a vitamin supplement to ensure you consume adequate amounts of vitamin. There are many options on the market and it can be very confusing which are better. In general, supplements that contain most of the required vitamins are better and safer than taking single vitamin preparations. Most of these will also contain minerals. There are some very good products available now that target specific age and gender. These are recommended because requirements are different between men and women and across the lifespan. In general, you should avoid supplements that contain greater than 200% of the daily value for any of the nutrients. This could lead to toxicity or imbalance in the body. Some manufacturers try to market unique sources or blends of vitamin supplements. Words like organic or natural are meaningless when it comes to vitamins. The body cannot distinguish among these sources and will use the vitamins equally well. In general, using vitamin supplements manufactured by well-established pharmaceutical companies is the best choice. It may not be necessary to take the supplement every single day. Skipping a day or two is fine, and this can save you money on supplements and still ensure meeting the body's needs. Water-soluble vitamins. In summary, the water-soluble vitamins include the B-complex vitamins, which are vitamin B12, vitamin B6, folate, and vitamin C. These vitamins are necessary for many different functions within your body. Since these vitamins are water soluble and are excreted instead of stored, you must get these vitamins in your day. You must get these vitamins in your diet each day. Aim to get your vitamins by eating a variety of different foods, but if you are unable to meet your vitamin needs through food alone, a multivitamin can help bridge the gap to